This is the first video about Maxwell's equation. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem on Maxwell equation derived from Ampere circuit law. So after this, I'm going to solve many problems. And also, I'm going to give more videos on Maxwell's equation and related concepts. Let us see the problem. It's here. In this problem, we have to find amplitude of the displacement current density. Displacement current density, JD, is a vector. We want its amplitude. Okay. We know that uh, JD is given by dou d by dou t. Differentiation of electric flux density with respect to time gives displacement current density in amperes per meter square. We know that. The medium is airspace. At a point within a large power distribution transformer where B is given. Okay, so B is given. Knowing B, we can find JD. It's not a problem. So it's 0 0.8 cos of 1.257 into 10 power minus 6. So 3 into 10 power a to t minus x. So this is the y component given in test law. So this can also be written as b vector having only y component. So the concept of JD displacement current density is discussed in Ampere, Ampere's law. So that is curl H is equal to JC plus JD. JC is the conduction current density and JD the displacement current density. JC is sigma E, JD is dou D by dou T, dou D by dou T. In this case, the medium is air, air medium or air space, sigma is zero. So that's why We can find JD directly just by calculating the curl of H. This term goes to zero. So we can find JD by curl H. Curl means the determinant the three unit vectors, x, y, z, partial derivatives. The problem is in Cartesian coordinate system. And here it is H. H, x, H, y, H, z. But in the problem, what is given is B. Control C, Y component of B is given. So we have to find H from B. Otherwise, we shall express here itself. Del cross B by 
mu mu is mu naught for air medium so anyhow 1 by mu is a constant instead of h here you can directly write b so this helps us to directly use b in this case right now so this whole thing is scalar value look at this one y component so this is the y component of vector b that means this is zero and bz is also zero now i can easily expand the determinant here the first one is a cap x which is given by the product of these two that is zero minus the product of these two so that is dou by dou z of by next is y component in y component first we have to take this two product minus these two both of them are zero zero minus zero the last one is z component so for z component take these two then this two minus that is zero second one first one is dou by dou x of by second one is zero so this expansion is very important here one by mu naught Here, look at this b y to be differentiated with respect to z. This is b. Look at this b y component. There is no z at all. No z is there. So that's why this complete component goes to zero. Y component doesn't contain z at all. Next, this is also zero. Only z component. So b y contains x here. Look at this x. So it can be differentiated. So now, do by do x of b y. We let us copy the component b y. Zero point eight cos of one point two five seven into ten power minus six into three into ten power eight. T minus x. So that is the substitution for b y. Next is the, the differentiation the differentiation. We shall keep this a cap z to the last. Now differentiate with respect to x. That is 0 0.8. Differentiation of cos is minus sine. Minus sine 1.257 into 10 power minus 6. Into 3 into 10 power 8 t minus x into into so cos is differentiated to sine minus sine now we have to differentiate this argument 
this one with respect to x. So this t term goes to zero with respect to x. Differentiation of minus x is minus one. So minus one into this constant. That is minus 1.257 to 10 power minus 6. So this forms the differentiation. Finally, we have the vector JD here. And we want only the magnitude of this one. So before that, let me put everything together amplitude. Here is minus. This is minus. And here also minus. Minus to minus plus. So it's going to be 0 0.8 into 1.257 into 10 power minus 6 divided by mu naught. into sine of the complete argument, 1.257 into 10 power minus six, three into 10 raised to a to t minus six into a caps. So finally, in the problem, it is asked to find the amplitude of JD. Only amplitude is required for JD here. So this term forms the amplitude. Therefore, the amplitude of amplitude of JD is so amplitude is generally its magnitude that is equal to 0.8. 1.257 10 power minus 6 mu naught mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. The amplitude of sine is 1 unit vector is not required is equal to if you work out with calculator we get an answer of 0 0.796 if you want you can also approximate it to 0 0.8 Zero, 00 ampere per meter square. This is the solution for this problem.